Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us continue the different types of markets. So till now we are done with the first three types. So now let us go through status. So according to the status of the product, we will be defining them guys. So primary means it is in the initial stages and secondary means it is semi-finished and terminal means it is completely termin completely a complete product. Fine. Okay. So after that we will be discussing, we will be going through the points guys, don't worry. So after that we will be discussing about regular grammar, sorry, regulation market and after that we will be going to completion market, competition market. Fine. Okay. So let us go through the definition so that you will be having a clear idea. So according to status means a primary market, primary market, the best example for it will be your agricultural products guys, because those are not, those are just the products. That's it. You need to do something on them to get your final product, your curry or anything like that. Right. So that is the reason why those are nothing but the primary market. Those, are, those belongs to primary market. Similarly, secondary market where semi manufactured goods are sold like half manufactured goods. So these half manufactured goods will be transferred to some other company and that company will form the finished goods. So if you take a best example, bottle caps guys. So bottle caps are semi finished because they are not filled, fitted to any bottle. Then those belong to semi finished. These are bought by some other company, some bottles company or any kind of company and they use as this caps. So this semi finished will be converted into finished. So terminal market means where finished goods are sold. Fine. Okay, so now let us go through regular and unregular gram, unregular market guys. Regular market is nothing but where product exchanges and stock exchanges takes place. Unregular means there will be no exchanges only according to the demand it happens guys, demands and supply. So how the demand happens and how the supply happens that according to that only the unregular market works, unregulated market works. So after that now let us go through competition guys. This competition is a really important topic guys, which we will be discussing in our future lectures. Like two to three lectures will be covering about two few competition markets. So perfect market, perfect market is nothing but very large number of buyers and sellers are found. So this is a place where there are, there are many number of buyers and sellers. So the second type will be imperfect market here, limited number of buyers and sellers will be found. So these are divided into many types guys. So the first type is monopolistic. So here large number of sellers. Okay large number of sellers and there will be heavy competition. So after that oligopoly, oligopoly means a few sellers and many buyers, duopoly, two sellers and many buyers, monopoly, many sellers and one buyer, dupsony, many sellers and two buyers, oligosony, that is nothing but many sellers and few sellers. So these are all the imperfect markets guys, where the number of sellers and number of buyers are not maximum. There is a some limitations like one seller, one buyer like that. There are some limitations. So after that, we are having monopoly. Monopoly is nothing but one seller and many buyers. Here there will be no chance of competition. So in our first, further lectures, we'll be discussing about this. And monopoly will be discussing guys and even we'll be discussing about perfect complete market. And what else will be discussing guys? Perfect competition market, monopoly and oligopoly. Fine. So even oligopoly will be discussing guys. Sorry, not this, this oligopoly. This is oligo Sony. Fine. So Sony means the maximum sellers. Remember, poly means the maximum buyers. Fine. Okay. So I hope everyone is now clear till here. So in the next lecture, we'll be continuing with the last two types guys. Those are nothing but according to time and nature of the things. Thank you. Thanks for watching.